All right, uh, back out at the uh, China shop. Uh, it's last day of August, 31st. Man, the year just flew right by, hasn't it? Uh, got some uh, some glid and ceiling paint. Is 75 bucks out the door with the tax and everything. Five gallons. So I figured I'd do the wall. Don't think we're gonna we're gonna do the underneath with this paint because it's uh, it's very thin. Um, that's that's two coats kind of all at once and a third heavy coat over top of it after the fans ran and dried it all off. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says it it goes on like gray and then turns white. So the white is the dry stuff. The darker stuff is still a little wet. It'll uh, it'll it'll all be bright white when it's when it's dry. So uh, but it, it you know it's it's that raw wood, right? Um, and that being the old stuff, uh, you can see where some of the yellow is still coming through from the wood, so that might be part of the part of the issue. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I think I mentioned this before is uh, use the the dollar store uh, tin foil. I'm not sure if it's 25 foot in a roll or 75 foot in a roll, um, but they they were like a, a buck, you know, a buck and a quarter or something like that. Uh, I I can I can do two cans, two large cans of. Uh, Gorilla or Super 77 spray glue that I spray the back of the tin foil uh, or spray the wood and just just run the tin foil right on it after we drill all of our holes for uh, for wire for uh, our outlets and all that kind of stuff um, then we're gonna we'll go ahead and, and just do I think we'll just do tin foil I gotta get with the wife and find out she she gave me a price and, and how much was in each roll um, but I, I don't remember that was you know that was a sore ass and a slip and fall and a bunch of work ago so you know i'm old i don't remember all that stuff so uh yeah so um i think we're gonna go with this paint on this back wall they also have this stuff the same paint in two gallon buckets for 31 bucks um so if we right now we're probably sitting on about three gallons maybe a little bit more three and a half i'm gonna use that stuff to paint this back room We'll go ahead and, and just just manually do this across here uh, where we're going to put up our curtain, right? Our, uh, our shower curtain or whatever, just to keep all the fiberglass and paint and whatever off the tanks. And uh, that way, we ain't going to paint the whole room, but we'll do the ceiling and, and the three walls, and that'll brighten this place up a little bit. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, if, it, if, it, if it's bleeding through and and uh you know it, it, maybe it's not fully covered it doesn't matter because it's going to be a spray room anyway right it's going to get it's going to get all nasty anyway but it just at this point uh to do this stuff overhead like this um you really had to saturate the heck out of the roller just to get the amount of paint on it you could and then you couldn't you couldn't go right back over because it, it would pull it right back off you really had to wait till it started to turn and so you, I start here and go all the way down and then I could come back over with just, you know, a, a slightly wet roller and just give it like a coat and a half. Then I put the fans on, dried them all out, and then I went back and put, you know, one full tray of paint on this part, one full tray of paint on that part, and now I'm done. Uh, that's it. Uh, it just, it, it, it wouldn't, uh, it would it'd take, a, it'd take three days of painting and drying, painting and drying, painting and drying to do all this in that white. So I think it might just be easier to do in, in uh, glue and tin foil. Uh, even if we just do the wood and, and leave the two by fours without paint, that's fine. It looks okay. Um, we'll probably paint the legs and the face um, with Rust-Oleum white. Uh, the, the oil base white covers in one coat. It's far more durable. Uh, than this latex stuff, um, but it's pricey. It's really, really pricey. It's uh, like 50 bucks a gallon, um, I think, for Rust-Oleum, and uh, quartz aren't going to do it. Quartz are pricey too. So um, that's where we're at. Last day, end of August. Uh, mezzanine finished, completely finished and done. Um, yes, the door does open and clear. It does bounce off of here though. Yep, so we gotta get a little rubber stopper up there. But this is really working out 
super duper cool. I mean, I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. Again, thanks to Chuck for coming out and helping save my back and giving me the few hours that I did have that day to, to, uh, to cut all that wood for me and help me get, uh, help me get the stuff on the walls and, and the little support beams and all that stuff. That was cool. Um, Chuck, I need that, uh, I just sent you a text message. I need that uh, thing that you put in the five gallon bucket that you dip the roller in and, and roll the, right? Right, and I need to tell me where I had to assure when Williams to get the big thick nap roller because that's what we're gonna need to do the back back there. Um, man, short of getting some, some ceiling up in here, uh, we, could, so we could probably start loading stuff up. You know, up there, is, is, as soon as we get some ceiling over top, I don't want to have to remove anything to get up in there and work. But if we, could, we could buy some foam and at least do the first bit of it anyway, um, so we can start loading totes up there if we have to. Um, and you got too much longer and we're going to need to move, move everything out. So, um, it's the hotline. Uh, it's Kenny calling on the hotline. So, uh, God speak, God bless you. We're praying for you. Pray for me. We need it. It's getting better. Check it out.